Wait, what if I give birth? What if I start having contractions tonight? And prank you again? Yes. <laughs> Wait, can you give me a gulp of lotion? My hands are like dry as a old lady. You are an old lady. I'm five years younger than you. So. <laughs> you sleep at eight. <laughs> Every pregnant woman did. Bye, baby. I see you soon, okay? Drink some water. Hey guys, it's Liz. Welcome back to another bump date. So today I'm going to be doing my 36 week pregnancy updates. So there's definitely been a lot that's happened within these last couple weeks, 35 to 36. So let's just go ahead and get into it. First things first, the baby is now the size of a papaya. Wow, he's a really big fruit, you guys. <laughs> so I feel like these last couple weeks have definitely been the hardest weeks I've ever had in a while, like minus my first trimester, just because I've been having so, so much pain, like just an array of pain, like all over different types of pain. So like the first one I've been experiencing is a lot of pelvic pain. I feel like I talk about this every single bump date, but I, for real, I've been having a lot of it. And it's definitely more frequent now. Like the day before um, my baby shower, I was shopping like, it was shopping like the whole day. It took me forever just like walk around in the mall. And I kept having to like grab Eric and like pause and like just wait there because my pelvic area was hurting so bad I would have to take like breaks and like hold on to him. Like I was kind of scared. I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't know. Like is this normal? But I guess it is. Every time I talk to my OB about it, she's just like, yeah, it's perfectly normal. The only cure for your pain, girl, is having the baby. So you just have to be patient. And also to go along with that pelvic pain, I've been having like, so I don't know if you guys, so if you guys watch my videos, like the last couple days, you know, I've had like a nasty sore throat and a cough. And every time I cough, you guys, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's really embarrassing, but I just want to be real with you guys. Like I pee a little bit every time I cough. Like if I'm having like a little cough attack, I pee a little bit. <laughs> it just comes out like I like it really like I have no control over it. So my best friend right now are panty liners because they've been saving my life. Because before I would just change my underwear every time I peed a little bit, coughing. So I was like, you know what? I have to go out and buy some panty liners. So those definitely have been helping me out with this cough because I still have it. It's not as bad as before. But every time I cough, you guys are like sneeze. There's definitely a little something happening down there. So that hasn't been fun at all, especially if I'm out in public. Oh my gosh. Like when I was shopping, I like had a big cough attack in a store and I was like, my gosh, I was so close to peeing my pants, you guys. Like, it's just been so bad. Like, so bad. And also recently, I had a little scare, like, going into labor scare. I know I pranked Eric. Like, my water broke like, going into labor, like, prank. And it's so funny because, like, two days later, I think after I, I filmed that video, I was having really, really bad pain in the night. So I don't really know if I should be calling them contractions because I wasn't sure if I was. At the moment, I really felt like they were contractions because it kept happening. And it didn't make sense because usually I have the most pain like when I'm walking or if I'm like getting up to do something. But this time I was just putting the kids to sleep and I've kept having like so much pain and I was like praying to God. I was like, Lord, please just give me one more week. I just need one more week and I'll be ready. So with all that being said, I've definitely been in nesting mode. I've just been trying to get stuff done. Like I want to get everything done this week like this week i just want everything to be done so i'm at ease and i'm ready for the baby so yesterday and today i've been washing all of the baby stuff and starting to put things away now and it gets me so like i just feel so much better because you know maybe i shouldn't have waited to the last minute to wash all of his clothes so i definitely feel so much better having all of that done but i still have a lot of other things i want to do before the baby comes just like personal stuff and also another thing i've been thinking about you guys and i've kind of been getting like so much anxiety and i feel like just really really nervous about this it's just like my last labor and delivery was pretty hard like it was just like oh my gosh it was really tough on me like after that I think that's why like after I had Emma I felt like I was just done having kids because of how bad I had pain so I had epidural with Emma but it didn't work and oh my gosh like the pain was intense I'm like a really I'm like the hugest wimp ever. So I don't have a huge tolerance of pain. So it really, really sucks. And I've just kind of been overthinking. Like, I'm freaking nervous to have this baby. I'm just, not not to have the baby. I guess just to like 
feel the contractions and the labor part and pushing them out and everything. I'm really nervous because I'm scared that the epidural is not gonna work again. So props to you moms out there. If you guys didn't use epidural and you were fine with it, just dealing with the pain like a champ, I'm definitely not like you guys. I have like a really low tolerance of pain. That's why I didn't really even mind to get the epidural. Yeah, so I just kind of been a little bit nervous about that whole part. I've been kind of thinking about it a lot and just letting it get to me. But I know I can do this. I'm strong, I could do this, but I just can't help but feel all those feelings. So definitely let me know if you guys ever felt like that, like overthinking before the baby comes, like you're scared with the pain and the labor and delivery part. Let me know. So that is basically it for all the symptoms I've been feeling this week, these last two weeks, because I do it every two weeks. So this is my 35 to 36 week bump date. And next up is all the cravings I've been having. So I feel like I haven't had like too much cravings, but I definitely noticed I've been craving like coffee with french fries. Like the weirdest combo ever, guys. But I don't know, that combo just so bombs me right now. Exhibit A, french fry, dip it in your coffee. <laughs> I love like salty fries. It's so bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> and just being real, I wish I could crave like a freaking banana or strawberries or whatever. But right now, my cravings are coffee, like iced coffee for sure, not hot coffee, and french fries. So those are the things I've been craving these last couple weeks. And, and now on to the belly shot, you guys. Oh my goodness. I um, actually had a, oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I have to go and see my doctor every week now. 36 weeks, I saw her Wednesday, um, last Wednesday, and I get to see her like basically every Wednesday now. Oh, it's just so cool. Like I'm excited, but like obviously nervous and all those other feelings as well. So now on to the belly shot, you guys. And actually, the last appointment I had, it was funny because the ultrasound tech, she was like, I don't know where you're putting this baby. He's really big. She actually said that he's measuring up to seven pounds. Like it could be two pounds less or two pounds higher, but it's just kind of like an estimate. So she says he's really big and he got chubby little cheeks and he's measuring up to seven pounds already, you guys. So he's definitely a big baby and I definitely feel him being a big baby as well. But I'm so excited to meet this little guy. He's gonna be so beautiful and I can't wait to hold him in my arms. So that is it for my 36 weeks bump day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know if you guys experience a lot of pain like at the end of your pregnancy or if you're experiencing it now, or just let me know what your main symptom is this week. So yeah, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Bye.